guys, we are here at the Kingsbury where the Mexican food promotion is happening at the grill until the 11th of September. And next to me is a wonderful lady, one of the most renowned um, Mexican chefs that has come down to Sri Lanka. And today she'll make a, a dish named uh, Mole Pablano, if I'm right. Um, hey, uh, and she goes by the name Gabriela Ruiz. Hi, Gabriela, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Um, Gabriela, before we get into the starting of the dish, tell me more about mole. You were giving me this interesting story about the chocolate and uh, uh, the mole uh, beverage being made. Go on, tell me more about it. Um, first of all, I think mole is like, for Mexicans, it's like your pouring. Oh, curry, So it's right? like uh, the most traditional and the, the dish we're proud of. Uh -huh. So um, it is made basically with chili peppers, um, some nuts, and chocolate. chocolate right. And I am from the southeast of Mexico, where the it's the biggest producer of chocolate. Right. Uh, you were telling me chocolate in in your tradition means something different to what we uh, usually yeah. accept. Tell me more about that. Um, the word chocolate uh -huh. comes from Mexico. All right. And every word that. The, the finish is T-E, uh -huh. it's from Mexico. From Mexico. Yeah, right. it's like avocado, it's aguacate, T-E, from Mexico. From Mexico. Tomate, right. tomato, tomate, T-E, Mexico. Mexico. Right. Yeah. Because it was T-L from the Nahuatl. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so yeah. the beverage, um, we have in Mexico the hot beverage, but the word chocolate means um, bitter beverage. Right, bitter beverage. Beverage. Yeah. Some some people say bitter beverage, other people say sour beverage, uh -huh. but it's a beverage. It's a beverage. Yeah. It's, it's a hot beverage. A hot beverage. Right. And that's how the people from Europe made the chocolate uh -huh. in a hot beverage. <laughs> then they took it from Europe and add sugar and milk. Yeah. And, and that's then, how it became sweet, Yeah, the right? bar, the right. chocolate bar. Chocolate bar came up. Yeah. Right. That's the story. <laughs> Well, Gabriela, let's go into the Mole Pablano dish. Tell me what exactly are you using to make it? Um, we're making a fusion. Um, so we're using the traditional mole sauce with this one dog, please. Right. We're going to fill it with some smoky dog and then a Nibisco salad. Right. That it's a flower. It's a flower, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll get right to it. Okay. Okay, so first I have the wonton here. I'm gonna use a glow. So I have the glow right here. Have you tried mole poblano before? Oh, in fact, the first time I've ever heard about it, so <laughs> definitely interested to see how it goes. I have tried curry many times and I just love it. I love it. Now it's getting one of my favorite food. <laughs> Have you tried any of the Sri Lankan food? Yeah, uh -huh. I'm here in the hotel. All right. Okay. Yesterday, I came yesterday, and they gave me this amazing curry. All right. Fish curry and chicken curry too. Okay. It was very good. The curry. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. We're um, how, is, how spicy is it for for Mexican? Um, we use a lot of chili pepper, so I'm used to it. It was a spicy though. I feel like, oh my god, I'm gonna. I need to drink water. But at the beginning, then I started to get used to it, and I just love it. Love it so when I when we have the meat already, I put um, another one on top. And just press like this, and take all the air inside. And I'm gonna cut with this cooking. Yeah. Butter. <laughs> like this. Sit. There you go. That's one one of that. No, this this is the one tone. Oh this is one tone. Yeah, yeah. filled with dog. So I have more in here. We're gonna do it to deep fry deep, the, the wonton, right. and then this is gonna be the sauce. The sauce, that's gonna be yeah. right. Great. We'll get to the deep frying now then. Okay. okay. Let's go ahead. All right. So I'm. You're frying the wonton. Right. The oil has to be very hot. Yes. 
Does it get the whole crispy part yeah. also because of the frying yeah. like this? Yeah. yeah. So you have you're gonna have this mixture of textures. You're gonna have the smoothness of the sauce and sweet and spicy and then the crunchy part. So and the fresh with the salad. Yes. Have you tried Mexican food before? Um, just tortillas, but then <laughs> that was not exactly the Mexican style, how Sri Lankans prepare it, you know. Okay. <laughs> and nothing like chocolate sauce with tortillas, though. Okay. Yeah. So, the mole is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it has chocolate, and I think mole is like, um, how to describe Mexican people. Oh, <laughs> right. It's part yeah. of like the identity. Yeah. You told me you tried milk rice, right? So something yeah. like milk rice to the Sri Lankans. <laughs> right. No, I think, um, which way do you think can describe people from Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka. Well, um, the most traditional, the most traditional plates, you know, being milk rice and hoppers and string hoppers. I think those kind of plates really describe Sri Lankan and the Sri Lankan tradition and identity is definitely put out with those kind of plates. Uh, have you tried hoppers? Not yet. Not yet, right? You definitely rice should. Cake and it All was right. <laughs> I tried it in the breakfast in the morning, All right. and it was like a hug. <laughs> <laughs> you tried it with the uh, onion and chili yeah. mixture. Yeah. yeah. Well, with chili and onion, that's uh, like a tight hug. Yeah, right? yeah a tight hug. But then, like without, it's like yeah, a, it's a nice like soft nice okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. I think Mexican, the way of describing with the dish and Mexican people is um, mole poblano, I guess. Yeah, because it's a crazy... You told me from season to season the mole also changes. I mean, you can um, change it. I mean, it changes um, depending the the place. Like, right. there are many kinds of mole. And there are the green mole, yellow mole, um, wedding mole, okay. but it's a white it's, uh, mole. Yeah, yeah. So we have this here. It's about two to three minutes of frying, I guess. Yeah, two or three until it gets like brown and crispy. Oh, there's one more. So we are done with the frying and now we'll move into the making of the salad? Yes. Right, okay. Good. We're making this salad and let me let me show you the hibiscus. Have hibiscus, you seen yes, hibiscus? Yes, hibiscus the flower, right? Yeah, the flower. Yeah, yeah. We use a lot of hibiscus in Mexico. Uh -huh. Like um, generally to make salad? No, generally we make this we call agua fresca, that is um, beverage. Oh okay. We have lots of beverage, lots right? Of beverage. <laughs> So you but, make a beverage out of it. Yeah, and, and this is for for the lunch time or oh, right. dinner okay. time. We always have um, water with fresh fruit oh, or right. okay. anything. But with this, the water of the the infusion of this with sugar, it's like one of the most famous was, uh, agua fresca. Oh, right. So I'm gonna put here the biscuits. Yeah. And a little bit of the onion. I put some lime juice. Lime juice? Yes. Just a bit because it is already sour. And some olive oil. And some coriander seeds. have to taste everything and taste it again and taste it again yeah, until, it right until it's right, right perfect when, right. when you say oh my god it's amazing people in the the table it's gonna die like, 
try it. Yeah. So you have to try all the time. I'm gonna try uh, Nibiscus. It has the whole sour taste and, and the salt working on it as well, yeah? yeah? yeah. And it's There's like the, crunchy, I mean. It's a bit right? crunchy, yeah. So that's the right amount for the mellow poblano. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Right, okay. Okay, so do you want to start plating now? Yeah, sure, go okay. ahead. So I have here my plate, mm -hmm. a white wine. Sauce. Yes. And I already put the chocolate in here. Mm -hmm. I still see this chocolate looks like weird. Yes. But it's because it's like um, artisan chocolate. Oh right. Okay. And it's just made by hand uh -huh. in a stone. All right. Cold metate. You all right. The, okay. All the cacao beans mm -hmm. and then start smashing with another stone. And stone, right? So it gets like. Uh, because it's all Dustin. oil, uh -huh. it gets like smooth and smooth, smooth right. and then you add And then you keep adding on to it yeah. until it's dry. Right. Okay. So I put some of the chocolate in there uh -huh. already. I put in the mole. I was telling you, in Mexico for us, yeah. mole is like, like the main person in a movie. How do you call <laughs> right. that? Like the star of a movie. Like the, the star of right, the movie. okay. Like other people are important, important. Yes, but the star is the mole. So it's not the meat, nothing it's else not is the, the mole, right. It's the sauce. Right. So I have the sauce, I'm going to put some sesame seeds. Uh huh. Well guys, that's how you make a mole pablano made by our beloved chef Gabriela Ruiz. Um, if you all want to experience more of this delicious Mexican food, come and head down to Kingsbury throughout the week until the 11th of September. We'll bring you more of these dishes and you'll have a great time.